Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day in the Lord. I'm back again today because um, there's a little bit more that I wanted to say after yesterday's video about the hidden manna. In that video, I talked about uh, Jesus's transfiguration and that he received an incorruptible body uh, before he went to the cross. And the word incorruptible means to not rot, to not decay. And I told you that what got into man in the Garden of Eden to corrupt the flesh were microorganisms uh, that uh, uh, merged with us and uh, created a symbiotic relationship where now we are dependent on them uh, for our digestion and other things that go on inside our body and they basically leave us alone but then I also said that when the environment that they're in becomes threatening to them their survival is uh, the utmost importance and uh, what they will do then is they will morph into other things and um, what once was a friendly cooperative relationship is now become parasitic and you are now the target and um, uh, there's no more benefit from them for you uh, you have um, you they will go after the host uh, so yeah I went into that if you haven't looked at that video I encourage you to go back to yesterday and watch it so Yes, I also talked about that the garden and when God said, don't eat of that tree, don't even touch it or you will surely die. And I showed you that uh, what can grow on the tree, on the bark of the tree, even on the fruit sometimes is mold. And uh, when you touch mold, it uh, immediately shoots its spores, invisible spores up into the air and um, they're toxic you breathe them in and once you get them inside your body the uh, it's a it's a, a warm dark moist place inside your body just like it is in the soil um, and um, they they start to propagate they start to replicate they find a place where they can flourish and grow and um, of course, we have uh, good bacteria in our body that keep them at bay, but um, through bad eating habits and um, which and lifestyles, which can create uh, and change the environment for them inside your body, they will then start, uh, you know, to defend themselves and go after you and. Uh, ultimately lead to all kinds of disease and death but the thing that I want to talk about today is that Jesus overcame these microorganisms on the Mount of Transfiguration if he didn't he wouldn't have received a incorruptible body because I told you the, the definition of incorruptible means to not rot and to not decompose so um, there is a very strong connection to, to what happened on the Transfiguration, the Mountain of Transfiguration, and what happened in the garden, what got into man to corrupt the flesh. So what I want to tell you here is that does Jesus want you to overcome the way he overcame this? And um, so I, you know, looked into scripture and there were many, many verses about that Jesus talks about overcoming. But before I read a couple of those to you, I just want to define what the word overcome means. To overcome means to defeat another um, that, that you're in a conflict with. So uh, this makes sense, right? We're in a conflict in our body. We want to we want a diet and these microorganisms are demanding food so we're in a conflict okay uh, we don't we want to stop drinking and um, you know uh, these microorganisms are demanding things of us and are overriding our will so yes you can say that there's a conflict there so anytime that the body 
is overpowering the will uh, for you to be in the will of God and you can't be in the will of God because the body is commanding you otherwise that is a major conflict it means to deal with successfully and prevail over to overpower them to be victorious to gain superiority over um, to surmount to conquer or to subdue and to gain superiority so that's what the word overcome means people and there are many many verses in the King James Bible where Jesus talks about his disciples overcoming so I just you know wanted you to to understand that Jesus has your best interest at heart and he wants you to be victorious the way he was victorious um, I um, I'm going here to John 16 33 where it says these things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace in the world ye shall have tribulation but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world we saw that he overcame the sin that was in our bodies on the the, the uh, uh, Mount of Transfiguration um, in Revelation 321 it he says to him that overcometh I will grant to sit with me in my throne even as I also overcame and I am set down with my father in his throne so basically here he's saying you have to do something in order uh, to sit with him on the throne so you have to overcome um, and in Revelation 3 5 it says he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels and in John 8 32 we talked about freedom yesterday and what it meant to be free I hope you remember all of those adjectives that I read to you of what it mean what the word free means without putting the word for in front of it and it says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free um, in Luke 10 19 it says behold I give you the power to thread on serpents and scorpions and all over and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you what does that mean that means that when you're in Christ and you have the Holy Spirit in you that Holy Spirit now is is your champion is your coach to help you understand how to overcome the flesh it says here in Revelation 2 17 he that hath an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches to him that overcometh I will give to eat of the hidden manna and what was the title of my video yesterday hidden manna and will give him a white stone and in the stone a new name written which no man knoweth uh, saving he that receiveth saving he that receiveth okay now this might not be a salvation issue but this is certainly an issue of transformation and especially in the times that we're living in now uh, I feel a very strong demand on the Holy Spirit's part to get me where the Holy Spirit wants me to be. And a lot of times my own will gets in the way of the Holy Spirit's will. And you see, um, those of you have, that have been following me for some time now, know that the Holy Spirit has removed many things from my diet and has removed medicines and drugs that the doctors have prescribed to me 
And um, I have successfully not returned to eating any of those foods. Now, I will admit I have fallen a couple of times, a few times with uh, dairy, but for the most part, uh, I would say 90% of my diet is does not have dairy in it. There is an occasion where I'll have something that has some cheese on it, which I'm not really supposed to have, but um, I backslide. But when you look at the big picture, I'm not eating it every day, but by, by no means am I eating that uh, every single day. Um, the Lord had uh, tried to get me off of bread. I am struggling with that. I, I have eliminated it for a couple of months and then I backslid and got back on it again. So I would say that I am still a work in progress, but I know every single day that I wake up in the morning that the Holy Spirit is on me about what I'm eating. And there's a reason that the Holy Spirit is on me about what I'm eating. It's because of what I'm eating is going to be feeding those microorganisms. Now, I don't have the answers to all of it. I do have my testimony and I do have what the Holy Spirit has been giving me to research. And that's what I'm giving you. And the only thing I can verify what the Holy Spirit has been giving me to give to you is to back it up with my own testimony. So you see here that um, that the Lord does want uh, people to overcome. And I think this is more prevalent now in the times that we're living in. Because the Lord is, is it's written that he's going to pour out his glory on people. But you can't make that connection to heaven like Jesus did on the Mount of Transfiguration unless you can overcome. And we see, based on the research that I did and the videos that I shared with you on that research, that Jesus reached a point in his ministry, in his praying and his fasting and his, and his uh, meditation with the Holy Spirit, that he reached a level where he overcame the flesh and he was given a new body an incorruptible body that does not rot and does not decay. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to add this to, to what I put out yesterday in the video of the hidden manna. And uh, it's important to know that the Holy Spirit is there to help you overcome, to help you. And I know that with the help of the Holy Spirit, you can be successful. Just like I have not picked up a piece of fried chicken or a spare rib or a piece of steak or a hamburger in seven years, people. I, I, never could do that on my own. Okay? I give all glory and credit to the Holy Spirit to keep me from acting on maybe whatever impulse I might have to go against what the Holy Spirit requested me to do. So, um, that's all I have for you today. I um, I wanted to add that, and I didn't I didn't get to it. I finished before I could actually um, deliver some of this extra information that I have. So um, that's it. I just uh, want to say um, I love you. Jesus loves you, and to never forget it. Um, things are going to change. I know it's very very difficult. Um, my walk with the Lord is as close as I am to, to Jesus and the Holy Spirit. I struggle. I struggle every single day when I get up in the morning. I, I have pains in my body 
Even though my blood work comes out excellent and pristine and flawless, I still get pains in my body that I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know if it's persecution. Um, I don't know if I'm being punished from actually uh, advancing in the spirit, you know, um, you do when when you do go up a level, you do get punished from the devil for it. When you speak the truth, you do get punished for it. When you go against the authority of the world, you do get punished for it. And some of these punishments are part of the trials that you have to walk through in order to overcome. And it's hard. It really, really is hard. And I know there are people out there just like me who are struggling, trying to overcome. But don't give up. I'm not giving up. I have faith that one day I will reach the point where I can overcome and I hope and pray to receive an incorruptible body just like Jesus did. And I hope you do too. And on that note, I'll say God bless everyone. Have a beautiful day in the Lord. Shalom. Shalom, shalom.